We all know how to crochet the basic chain. And very likely you also know how to do the chainless foundation. If not, check out this video. But now we are not going to use either of these. Instead, we are doing the cord like thicker foundation that is also very stretchy and gives you a nice edge, whatever stitch you continue then on the following rows. Make a slip knot so that your yarn tail is three times the length of how many chains you need. And this here yarn comes from the ball so that then you continue that on the next row. Before chaining the first, take a yarn over and then you chain. Always lift the yarn on your hook before you chain. For this also it's important that you don't crochet too tight. Otherwise it won't be very stretchy. And uh, this is you con how you continue. And you can see now that it left this here nice even row of stitches. And when the chain is long enough, you start crocheting normally whatever stitches you need. I'll do double crochets. So you just go into this here stitch that is right in front of you. With this you start right away as if you were somewhere in the middle of your work and uh, there's none of this problem of uh, checking and looking where exactly you put your hook into the chain. It's here always right in front of you. So this is one alternative to the starting chain. And yes, it is the same as I have also taught for I-cord because it is this shape. And especially if you take a bit thicker yarn and crochet tighter, it can work also as a cord. So that's it for today. And check out also this here tip that has been very popular. Till next time.